welcome to the third episode in uh, the series of how to climb. So here we have Leith Hill, which is a great climb, 3k, 4% average on my approach. I think five maybe different approaches for Leith Hill. There are a lot, there are at least four. So this is one route that I do, mainly due to convenience uh, from where I've come on before. And it's probably the least challenging way. It's not steep, just a chill 4%. Okay, there's a couple ramps, probably more like 7%. Um, so we're just getting to the bottom of the climb now. So there's a bit of descent uh, to give you a bit of momentum. I'm just chilling out here. Not really doing much. And then in we go. Uh, it's a really beautiful climb. This is the highest point in southeast England, I think. At 250 metres, something like that. Anyway, yeah, it's, you know, nice climb. Here it goes, but here we go. With the climb, I think the house is the starting point of the segment. But anyway, it's a fast climb. The KOM's like 28 k's an hour, so you know it's someone. It's for someone who can more of a time trialist than a than a pure climber. Um, yeah, it's a decent climb. Um, and I quite, I have, haven't really ridden it too often. No, I think maybe three or four times in total. Uh, but you know, every time I've done it, I quite like it. I've been quite. A I've been most of the ways up. Uh, Leith Hill uh, from Cold Harbour and then the, there's another way I can't remember where it's from uh, which is also a nice nice route as well and they're both of those ones are a lot harder and steeper um, but this one is probably I don't sure which one's the most famous one uh, in Ride London they've used from Cold Harbour and mm. the other steeper one um, but they've never used this one I don't think um, which is a bit sad but it's pretty nice Pretty nice scenery, as you can see. It's sort of like a bit Jurassic. You go through a valley here. Well, it's not really a valley. It's more like just erosion from the where the road is, which is nice. The road surface is very poor here, as you can see. A lot of bumping and general like wear on the road. A uh, bit of power. We got the power. We got the got the cadence. We got the heart rate. We got the speed. We got the grade, as always. Uh, the power, I think for the total was like 265 at 60 kilos, that's like four, four and a third watt per kilo, so you know, not bad uh, at all, but not really going full gas at all really. So you know, quite chilled out, I, you know, put a couple little surges in here or there, um, I'm not sure what you need to do, I think the, the person who is the KOM is like 411 watts I think it is, but he's quite heavy, he's like 80 something kilos, so... 5 watts per kilo maybe, but I'd say it's more about pure power um, in comparison to watts per kilo, like obviously your watts per kilo are important and here we almost get killed by a van but it's mainly more important your power and also the wind and like obviously if you're swapping off it would be super easy to go a lot faster um, so here you might be like, well what are you talking about, it looks quite steep here but it's sort of a tiny amount compared to the whole climb um, so it's not and it's not really super steep, I mean 7%, yeah, maybe on an alpine climb, it's quite long, um, it's quite steep, sorry, because they're very long, and you know, you get a bit tired, but on a short, short climb like this, like a 3k climb, which it sort of is, it's more like a 3k false flat, it's 7%, it's pretty chill, um, and if you're going full gas, it's all big ring and stuff, I'm just sort of cruising up a lot of it, because, you know, this was on quite a big, a big ride, um, did most of the hills in Surrey, so, Plus commuting there, that's the main thing that kills me, is I have to go from near central London, so it's a big commute to get out to Surrey, so often I'm quite tired when I get to the hills, but it's all good training, no complaining, and here we are, um, getting after, I think you'll see in a bit, but we're getting towards the end of the steep part really, um, it's still not super steep, as you can see from the heart rate, not, not super high, my max is 201, um, 160 is like chilling, so cruising, well not cruising, but more like a tempo, a good tempo threshold, well not really threshold, more tempo, yeah, good tempo, um, we can see the power's jumping around a bit, uh, so for me, I can hold about 320 watts for 20 minutes, roughly, like on a good day, so, I weigh 60 kilos, so we can, um, that's like 5 and a bit watts per kilo, um, so you can see for this one, we're not really going full gas, um, at all, but you know, you don't have to go full gas the whole time, and it's um, just giving you some context of like the efforts, obviously I'd guess most people are probably going to be heavier than me, so obviously the power you'd have to do to go the same speed is a little bit more, but I think on this climb, as I already said, it's not, the weight isn't the most important thing, it's more just, just the numbers in their own right and wind direction for a good time, 
in terms of just like surviving up the climb, that first bit you have to just watch out a little bit and like not go super hard. Um, this part, yeah, it's, it says it's three percent, but it's it's more like zero. Um, the speed is also slightly wrong because the GPS on my Brighton is just rubbish. But anyway, that's a, that's a different story. Um, and maybe I'll, one I'll talk about later in a different video. But at the moment, we're just going up Old Ramble. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm going up Leith Hill. A bit tired. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can I can add at the moment. Because we are just cruising up. It's more like a false flat up to 26 k's an hour. Um, got some nice, it's a pretty quiet road actually to be honest. I mean, I did get, almost get hit by that van earlier. But it's not, not super tough super busy um and mainly it's not really busy with cyclists either it's just sort of like it's a bit of an odd route like not many people really go up this way because there's sort of more better more exciting ways uh to get up this way uh from cold harbor there's it's quite gets quite steep up to like 14 percent. it's a bit a bit more fun this one's more like sort of people would descend this and maybe go on to a different way they sort of go opposite routes but if you want to go from ram more common it's this is the best way um, this is the best way, it's got, it's sort of the end of the loop before I go home, which is good. So here we are, apparently it's 8%, I'm, yeah, but maybe it is. It's sort of hard to tell on this one, um, like, I always find it really hard to tell the gradients, maybe it is 8%, maybe it's not, but in general, it's quite a, yeah, quite a calm climb. Here we go, we'll settle down a bit the gradient, I think, on this part. Leith Hill is... Um, almost all, like almost all the ascents are covered by trees quite a lot, which means the GPS is quite bad. But also, it means it's not too windy uh, most of the time, which is nice because if you're light like me, the wind is saps your energy. If you have a headwind massively, or even just like a crosswind. Um, but yeah, it's also the subject to like a fracking. Um, on when you go up from Cold Arm, there's like a protest camp against fracking, which you know. There's probably, it's just always quite entertaining to watch the people there, um, but that aside, it's, yeah, there's nothing really going on in Leith Hill, um, there's no, I don't think there's any towns near there, like there's nothing on the top, there is actually a hill climb up there, which I've never done, it's a, I think Kingston Wheelers do it, but they do it from, yeah, a different side to this one, it's more a steep side, I can't remember where it's from, but it's the, it's like the official, the hundred climbs, like there, that's the other side of it, sorry. So it's the famous one. I think that's like 7% average for 1K. We ramps up to 14%, I believe. Um, so it'll probably suit me not too badly. Like it'll be decent, like three, four minute effort. But I've never really got around to doing it, to be honest. Um, I probably should uh, because it would be a good one. It was not, it'll be like nice to do a hill climb in the local area. But maybe next year we will see. I haven't really, well, obviously I haven't figured out what I'm doing next year. It's like a long, long time, long time till the next hill climb season. But yeah, and going on, talking a bit more about hill climbs, um, I haven't really done very many. Uh, I did the urban hill climb, which was good. I did, should make a video on that, but I didn't get any GoPro footage, which is a bit sad. But um, maybe I should make a vid. Um, I just didn't get any power data, so that was quite sad. And then I did like a club hill climb, which I won, but that was sort of a bit, bit dubious circumstances. But... <laughs> we'll, like, we'll ignore that, um, but yeah, I, it's a bit it's a bit sad I didn't do more hill climbs this um, this year. Um, I did a bit more racing, and also I just know I just didn't really feel like it. And I have I work at a cafe, so often they want you to work on the weekends, which is a bit sad. Um, so you can't hill climb because obviously no one else has time off during the week to do hill climbs, um, unfortunately. But I do, so often I'll be out on a Wednesday when there's like no traffic which is always nice or especially like on one of the climbs in Surrey can get super busy so it's nice like you can see today with pretty much no one on the climbs um which is always which is always good um how long have we got left about three minutes or so yeah so it is like a, it is actually a long climb um right going back onto the climb yeah it's a long climb and away from my little hill climb rant yeah, it flattens off here. This is pretty much the end. Like I think it gains probably another twenty meters or so, um, but it's pretty much got to the end now. I can never remember where the actual end of this climb is because it sort of like undulates, does a bit of rolling action, like rolls along. Um, but yeah, I think we're getting close to the end. Um, so yeah, 
Oh, I don't really know. Like, it's a bit... I wouldn't say it's a dead client, but it's not... It's not my faves, just because it's a bit... It's a bit long and, like, not super exciting. I prefer a bit of a, a, bit of a short and steep one. There's me just checking the old GoPros in, in action, which, of course, it is. Um, my cadence about this climb yeah, is a bit shit, to be honest. Like, 76 cadence, 78 cadence. So, yeah, I should be... Should be going a bit higher, but I'm not. I'm not sure what. Oh, I think it's because I thought it was the end of the climb now, which is why the power is super low as well. But it is not. Um, so we keep going. I think I got my PB on this one actually as well. Um, but which is sort of tells you like, it's not really a serious segment. Like, not many people have actually done it. Um, because I'm quite high up the rankings, and I sort of didn't pedal through the downhill or whatever. But I guess it's like it's harder to find, and like people do the easier. Well, not easy, but, like, the easy to find segments, like, Box Hill, which is, like, way more famous than this. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, if we weren't, like, in the UK, or London, sorry, I always say the UK, but I just mean London, this probably wouldn't even be a climb, it would just be, like, a boring and false flat, but as we have a lack of climbs, in London especially, it is anything over, <laughs> sort of, like, a two-minute incline, well, anything, like, anything, any incline, literally, we're like, yeah, that's a hill, that's like a proper hill, or whatever. Um, but if we live somewhere else in the Pyrenees, then this would just be like a rubbish false flat that people wouldn't even think about. But that is all we have in Lon in the U in London, <laughs> not the UK. The UK, there are some good clients. I actually need to go and find some. Stop complaining about how London has no clients. But here we are. This is the top. And now there is quite a nice descent back down uh, the valley. So thanks for watching. I hope I wasn't too boring. It's not the most exciting climb, but... You can definitely do it and have a go, go up to Surrey and have a go up Leith Hill. Thanks for watching. Bye.